Discover a different way of living, a distinct culture and all the things that make us unique. Sunny Good Cheer. The importance of everyday celebrations. Sharing special times with friends. All the things that bring us together give our lifestyle an unmistakably Spanish flavor. Such is the case of Spanish cured ham, an essential part of the Mediterranean diet which represents more than anything the spirit of Spain. But in order to fully enjoy the flavor of the ham, you have to know how to slice it. We'll show you how. We will only need a well-anchored ham holder and carving station, two knives, one carving knife and another small sturdy knife. They should have an anti-slip handle and a finger guard to avoid injury and should be properly sharpened. Before proceeding to carve, we will first place the ham leg on the holder with the hoof facing upward. First of all, we make a deep cut about two centimeters down around the upper portion of the ham. We begin by peeling away the pork rind. It is an important step because the pork fat below the rind has to be very clean to avoid a strong or bitter taste. If we are not going to consume the entire piece all at once, it is better to peel away only the area of pork rind above the portion we intend to consume always leaving a one to two centimeter layer of pork fat covering the meat. We begin by slicing lengthwise from the upper portion of the ham on downward using parallel cuts. We need to hold the knife firmly without pressing too hard against the ham. In order to carve properly, you need to hold the knife rather firmly with your wrist straight and place the hand that's free on the side opposite and above your cutting hand. The cut should always be straight, as even as possible and not jagged. The slices should be thin and approximately three to four centimeters wide. along we will encounter a bone which we will proceed to separate from the meat with the smaller knife by doing so we will obtain a nice clean slice There is nothing better for storing ham than its own pork fat, of which we will save two or three slices to place on top of the meat. Then we will cover the whole thing with a cotton dishcloth, thus ensuring the ham is properly stored. Once we've turned the leg over, we will proceed by carving just as we did on the other side of the ham. The bone will soon appear and we will have to carefully separate the meat with the smaller knife just as we did on the other part of the ham. When we've obtained all possible slices, 
we then remove the meat that is still stuck to the bones, which is excellent for making the traditional and delicious ham cubes. In some hams, there might be a thin layer of mold. The mold is a naturally occurring attribute and shows that the product continues to mature and to gain in flavor. It can easily be wiped away with a cloth moistened in olive oil. Welcome to the world of Spanish cured ham and enjoy its unmistakable flavor. Campo Frio lets you enjoy España wherever you are.